Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings, this time City of Fiends. You'll notice it's in an excellent hardback or paperback and now it's with a new cover as an e-book as well. What more could you ask for? Three different versions, you could buy all three if you want. City of Fiends, this is a nice one. It's the penultimate so far published Templar series book but the next book, Templar's Acre, is actually a prequel to the main series so this is you could say the last of the current Templar series but I'm thinking about another one. As with all good books it starts off with a murder but it's a bit more about that. It's 1327 now and the whole of the country's in turmoil. The king's been captured and forced to abdicate. Queen Isabella basically is in charge with Roger Mortimer, the great traitor. Um, Mortimer himself was a bit of a thug and a typical warrior leader, so he was not the most reliable or decent chap to have running a country. And the man who would become Edward III did not like his mother taking a lover either. So it was a very exciting time. But the fact is that because that was exciting around the rest of the country, Exeter, like all of the other cities, suffered quite a lot because no one knew who was on whose side, nobody knew what was going to be happening and then, this is all based on uh, a true story, the Bishop of Exeter was quite a new chap because poor old Walter Stapledon had died the year before and then this Bishop suddenly died as well. Nothing much is made of that apart from one brief mention in Adam de Murimuth's Chronicles that said that he was murdered. So there you've got it. You've got a bishop murdered, you've got a young woman murdered, and basically Baldwin has to join up with Richard de Wells, Sir Richard de Wells, the old coroner, to try to figure out what was going on. I really enjoyed this book. It's another one of those books I wrote which is covering two aspects of life. One is how the peasants and the poor lived in a city like Exeter, how conflicts can start up from the most foolish, ridiculous uh, little incidents, but it's also the sweep of the history across the whole of the UK, uh, across the whole of England with the capture of the king. So, I think this is good. I think it's one of my best. I hope you do too. Go and buy it and enjoy it. Thanks very much. And now, I'll return to my tea.